Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and we are doing prayer according to sunnah today's chapter is the witr prayer witr literally means odd number witr has two different meaning in the sunnah the last one or the three rakats of the night prayer or it means all of the night prayer because in essence they are odd number this discussion refers to the formal meaning means we learn from the hadith that witr is not obligatory but desirable uh, but it would not be correct to show any slackness you know oh it's uh, like not uh, further it's desirable and you uh, stop doing it you know you shouldn't do that in performing it because every muslim should do the best to follow the sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's timing and ruling let's see the timing and the ruling of it abu ayub ansari radiyallahu anha narrated that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the witr is a duty of every muslim so he who wants to perform five rakats witr should perform five he who wants to perform three rakats witr should perform three and he who wants to perform one rakat should perform one rakat so here the ayat uh, i mean uh, the following hadith words al al witrul haqq ala kulli muslim it's on all muslim faman ahabba it is most lab an yutira bi khamsi khamsa is 5 falya falyuf al faman ahabba an yutira bi salasa if you want to do 3 that is falyaf al waman ahabba an yutira bi wahida you can do wahida one also ibn umar radiyallahu anhu narrated when a man asked allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the night prayer so allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied the night prayer is performed as two rakats followed by two rakats and so on if anyone of is afraid of approaching fajr prayer he should perform one rakat you know it was like you know almost fajr is there and you didn't do the witr then that time of like um, you can do one rakat and this will be a witr for all the rakats which he has performed before salatul laili masna masna fa iza khashiya ahadukum subha salla rakatan wahidatan تعطيروا له ما قد صلى عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنه narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the night prayer uh, the night prayer is performed as two rakats followed by two rakats and so on so night prayer is how much two rakat followed by two and so on if you want to finish it perform only one raka which will be witr for all the previous rakats and that is permissible and i hope there is no harm in doing this there is another hadith aisha radiyallahu anha narrated kana nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam yusalli wa ana raqidatun mu'tariyatan ala firashihi fa iza arada an yutri yaqzahani fa autaratu the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to perform his night prayer while i was sleeping who was sleeping aisha radiyallahu anha with the voice on the bed whenever he intend to perform the witr prayer he used to wake me up and i would perform the witr prayer you know arada ay yutri yakhzani fa autaratu and time of witr prayer aisha radiyallahu anha narrated allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam observed witr prayer in every part of the night he sallallahu alaihi wasallam however would finish his witr prayer before dawn min kulli laili qad autara rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fa antaha witruhu ila sahar abdullah bin umar radiyallahu anhu narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said make witr your last sala for the night you know you already intended that you gonna do the tahajjud so don't uh, pray witr and sleep 
you can do the tahajjud when you wake up for the night prayer and then you can do the witr prayer because witr prayer has to be the last and don't think like you can do two times witr some people they misunderstand that not that way okay abu huraira radiyallahu anhu said prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me to perform witr prayer before going to sleep here you know when you are not waking up for the tahajjud but when you are waking up for the tahajjud then you should do the when you wake up jabir radhiyallahu anhu narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said perform witr prayer before the dawn you know autiru qabla an tusi tusbihu is from sabaha you know before morning so perform witr prayer before the dawn Jabir radiyallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he who fears that he may not get up in the later part you know you thought that you going to do witr later but if you intend to wake up but if you have the doubt you know later part of the night should perform the witr prayer in the first part of it like you have doubt that you won't be able to it's like um, you're not sure of it then better to do it and he who is certain like you know you are pretty sure that you're going to wake up and it, it's your habit that you wake up for tahajjud every night and that time you can do the witr prayer but if you are not sure and you are not going to wake up for the tahajjud prayer then better to do the witr and sleep witr at the end of the night because that should be the last prayer of the night because salah at the end of the night is attended by the angels and that is better so here Uh, uh, whoever intends fal yutira akhir al-layli fa inna salati akhiri layli mashhudatun who is doing mashhudatun was zalika abdal and um, here angels will witness uh, salah at the end of the night oh, there's one more hadith ali bin abi talib radiyallahu anhu narrated the witr prayer is not obligatory and here as prescribed salah is but allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam observe it as his regular practice uh, uh, regular sunna he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah is witr allah is witr means one odd and loves what is witr so perform witr prayer o followers of the quran observe witr prayer Witr prayer while riding or getting in. Sa'id bin Yasir radiyallahu anhu narrated, "I was going to Makkah in the company of Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu anhu, and when I apprehended the approaching dawn, I dismounted and performed the witr prayer. Then joined him. Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu anhu said, 'Where have you been?' I replied, 'I apprehended the approaching dawn.'" so i dismounted and performed with her prayer abdullah radiyallahu anhu said isn't there in the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a good example for you to follow i replied yes by allah he said allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to perform the with her prayer on the back of the camel while on the journey so it is permissible for you to do with her prayer while you are on the journey so here he was mounting on the camel so you can do it on the car too when you are not driving it of course when you are driving it it's not possible and um, when you are not driving it you can do it and better to uh, be in wudu whenever you are traveling so that easily you can do the fard prayer too ibn umar radiyallahu anhu narrated prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to perform voluntary prayer on his rahila mount facing its direction by signal but not the compulsory salah he also used to perform the witr prayer on the rahila on the mount so here we learn that you can do witr prayer or the voluntary prayer on rahila on the, on mounting the camel or um, any other animal but here one more thing you should notice that they are not in the direction they are not sure of the direction of the qibla but for the fard prayer for the fard prayer it's compulsory you should be in the direction of the qibla not only that and it's better you should do on the 
floor uh, not on mounting the um, you know on the camel or so but if you are doing so make sure that it's in the direction of the qibla two witr in one night talak bin ali radiyallahu anhu narrated i heard a last messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there are no two witr prayers during one night you know that's what i was telling in the starting you can't do two witr in one night compensation of the witr prayer Abu Sa'id Al-Qudri radiyallahu anhu narrated Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever oversleeps and misses the witr or forgets you know you thought you going to wake up for the tahajjud and you going to do the tahajjud and then witr but you wake up very late or what if you forgot should pray in the morning or when remembers you know later on when you remember you have to do it or you miss it then also it's on you that you should do it in the morning Ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu narrated that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when the dawn breaks then the time of all night prayers including the witr is over so observe the witr before dawn you know before the fajr time you should observe the witr prayer one should know that uh, should someone miss a prayer out of sincere oblivion or due to having fallen asleep he shall not be brought to account you know by mistake it's a qata or uh, forgetfulness in both these cases he shall get an equal amount of reward as if he has performed the prayer on time but it is prohibited to go to sleep at time when a curtain uh, like you know uh, it's pro- um, prohibited when you know you know um, almost is time for the isha and you you know that you you can do the isha and then wither because you know you you going to sleep and then you won't be able to wake up then better to do it in such a thing happens uh, beyond one's uh, capability and control because you can't control your sleep and you can't overcome that better to uh, pray and sleep what to recite the wither prayer Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu narrated Allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited in witr prayer suratul ala that is surah number 87 and suratul kafirin and kafirun that is surah number 113 and suratul ikhlas is 114 in every raka one surah okay so this is i am talking about three rakas in each raka one surah invocation for the qunut in the witr prayer Hasan bin Ali radiyallahu anhu stated uh, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught me some phrases which i recite in khunut Allahumma hdini fi man hadayt wa afini fi man afayt wa tawallani fi man tawallayt wa barikli fi ma atayt wa qini sharra ma qadayt so this is one of the dua there is one more dua inshallah i'm going to share that also انك نقضي ولا يقضى عليك وانه لا يذل من اليت ولا يئز من اديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت او الله guide me with those whom you have guided and strengthen me with those whom you have given strength take me under your care with those whom you have taken under your care bless me in what you have given me protect me from the evil you have ordained surely you command and not commanded and none whom you have committed to your care shall be humiliated and none whom you have taken as an enemy shall taste glory you are blessed our lord and exalted and ubay bin kaab radiyallahu anhu narrated prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite khunud before ruku you know before going to ruku you can recite the khunud and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrated, narrated i asked anas bin malik radiyallahu anhu about khunud he responded qanata rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba'da ruku Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited khunut <coughs> after the ruku so here recite khunut before ruku also after so there are two difference of opinion so you can do before or after 
it is permissible to perform khunut before or after ruku you can do the both way you can adopt uh, sometimes some ways uh, the other time other way okay and what to say immediately following the witar prayer obey bin ka radiyallahu anhu narrated when allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam made taslim in witar prayer finished it he would say subhanallah malikal quddus glory is to the king the holy so these are the things we learned in witar prayer so it is better it is mustahab but it is better to do the witar and then sleep so that's the thing uh, we we are let's see that one too so this is in a hasnal muslim which is called fortress of muslim allahumma iyyaka na'budu wa laka nusalli wa nasjud wa ilayka nas'a wa nahfid narju rahmataka wa naqsha azabaka inna azabaka bil kuffa bil kafirin mulhaq allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nastaghfiruk wa nusni alayka al khair ولا نكفرك ونؤمن بك ونقدع لك ونخلع من يكفرك means oh allah you alone do we worship and to you we pray and bow down prostrate to you we hasten to worship and to serve our hope is for your mercy and we fear your punishment surely your punishment of this believer is at hand oh allah we seek your help forgiveness and we praise you beneficently we do not deny and we believe in you we surrender to you and renounce whoever disbelieve in you and after the witr you should say subhanal malikil quddus glory is to the king like you know recite this three times in arabic and rabbil malaikati wa ruh the lord of the angels and the spirit and the previous uh, there's uh, there was one more dua i said allahumma hdini fi man hadayt that also you can recite jazakallah khairan kaseera